What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Thursday, August 29th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the dog Rune Tokens market cap because it's currently hovering around $289 million right now. But I believe that it's going to hit a $5 billion market cap. Now, you must be wondering that may be far fetched. But in this video, I'm going to share with you why it's actually the most realistic, at least the lowest market cap that we could expect in this bull run. Now, I'm going to share with you also that there is a crypto exchange that's been mentioning DOG. Also, what will it take for a centralized exchange to list DOG without being paid a centralized exchange listing fee up front? Well, I will share with you why that may not be necessary and why DOG can reach above a billion dollar mark cap without a tier one centralized exchange listing because we're starting to see the rune dominance over the Bitcoin ecosystem, especially on top of BRC20s. So don't miss the charting and analysis in this video. Stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement. So let's go ahead and begin by smashing that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So over the past 24 hours, we are up 3.99%. Now, if we compare this to Bitcoin's price, now over the past seven days, if you've noticed, if you just hodl dog over those past seven days, you'd pretty much be at the exact same point, even regardless of the price volatility. So that's something to always pay attention to. I wanna keep in mind that the month of September, typically historically, is a pretty red calendar. So if you've noticed based on the historical data of all these different year cycles for Bitcoin, Bitcoin typically is in the red. So if you're gonna see the price of Bitcoin go in the red this month, then you could expect that altcoins, gaming altcoins, especially meme coins, rune tokens as well, will also react very strongly. So keep this in mind in case you wanna understand what you're gonna expect in September. Now, who's the exchange that's been talking about DOG? Well, just really briefly, crypto.com, which is one of the top tier one exchanges in the world, put DOG in this nice little meme post. Basically, you just have to choose which seat you would rather sit on. A lot of people should select 5A, but nonetheless, they selected the DOG rune token. So that's really interesting to see that they actually put the first rune token and the only rune token right here. So that's something I like to pay attention to. Now, this could be engagement farming. Regardless, I'm still interested in this post because any post mentioning dog is worth the engagement for me. Now, recently I asked ChatGBT the specific question, which is how does a centralized crypto exchange benefit from listing the dog rune token without being paid a listing fee up front? And there are multiple reasons, right? Why a centralized exchange can benefit without having to be paid up front. Increased trading volume, attracting new users, market positioning, so forth, so on. So you go ahead and pause this video if you really need to understand the possibilities of why an exchange can benefit from not having an upfront listing listing fee. But the most intelligent response that I have from this was from Leonidas himself. And I think this is the most important part, but I'm not going to read this whole thing. Just to kind of sum it down, it really becomes the reputation of an exchange, specifically Binance. So if Binance continues to list meme coins because they're being paid uh, a listing fee up front, typically during the launch of those meme coins, the token falls down in price. So any new investors or retail investors, especially buy into that token when the token launches, what we see is that the token price drops and it ends up that the retail is the exit liquidity. So over the long term, this actually hurts the reputation of that exchange. If it be Binance, Crypto.com, Kraken, KuCoin, Coinbase, whatever it may be, it will hurt them in the long run and they lose their customer base acquisition, and most importantly, their trust. And so that is something that you do need to pay attention to. And that's why DOG in the free and fair movement is positioned really well, where it's not heavily manipulated and also is rug proof because it's a free and fair airdrop. Also on a separate note, yesterday during the Ordinal Show Twitter space, there is Robert who showed up from Satflow. Now, if you don't know Satflow, it's this new pretty much trading platform for ordinals and runes. It's gonna come out hopefully very soon. But they have investors such as Coinbase Ventures interested in the future of Bitcoin DeFi. Now, in specifically in this clip that I'm about to share with you is the voice of Robert sharing with you why Coinbase Ventures is seeing the future of Bitcoin DeFi and also another exchange that I just mentioned. I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip right now. I, I think what, what got Coinbase excited here, Coinbase Ventures, excuse me, um, you know, is two things that really we're seeing in Bitcoin in the last like 
year and a half, which is obviously this big sort of influx of users that are excited about trading assets on top of Bitcoin, assets denominated in BTC, like assets living on top of BTC, right? And clearly this is, is sticky. You know, there's a lot of VC money flowing into a lot of different uh, projects now. Um, and it has a lot of investors that are, you know, very, very excited. Um, furthermore, like this sort of re this, this influx of Bitcoin devs coming back into Bitcoin from uh, other uh, chains like Ethereum and Solana, right? Um, I think has a lot of people paying attention. Um, these, this is like a, an important moment um, as, you know, more expressivity comes back to Bitcoin, as asset issuance comes back to, to Bitcoin on, on the L1 side. Um, you know, a lot of people are, are paying attention, like yeah, Binance as well. You know, those those guys are are keen on on these assets that live on top of uh, BTC. And uh, um, yeah, you know, the, the excitement is, is certainly there. Now that you heard from Robert from Satflow, I want to share with you what's going on with the Rune dominance. And this is really important in Dune Analytics. Now, if you don't know, Coinbase Ventures actually has an investment in Dune Analytics. So you can imagine that Satflow will be at the forefront of the Bitcoin DeFi. Now, Runes right now is returning in its dominance. As you can see, this is the pink version right here of Runes. And it is growing recently, if you notice, in the month of August. So it's coming back pretty strongly. And even right here, Runes versus BRC20s, you can see that right now, Runes are in dominance right now. And even over here, another better chart, yes, is definitely returning. In fact, it's consuming around 95% of the total fungible token transaction trading volume compared to BRC20s. Now the charting analysis is usually my favorite part, right? And again, we are confirmed in a golden cross. We saw a golden cross here, then a death cross followed by another golden cross. Now you must be wondering, is this price going down for a dog? It is not. It's still forming higher lows here, another higher low here. The orange line is important because it's still above the green line. Even with the price volatility right now, it is still above the green line. When the orange line is below the green line, that means we were in a bear trend. Now look at the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength Index. Remember, we were oversold for over 60 days. Now we're starting a new uptrend to the upside. You can see this, that the purple line is above the yellow line. That shows me that we are in a bullish momentum. Always follow the data, it never lies. Now you stuck around to the very end of the video, you want to understand why the dog rune token could hit a billion dollars and also, $1 billion without a tier one centralized exchange listing. And I've already shared this image on my Twitter and you probably have already seen this, but I wanna give you a little bit of context. So obviously you can see that there are many different dog meme coins on different blockchains. Obviously there isn't enough Bitcoin into dog and that's mainly because the tools, also the platforms and the trading tools that are not available right now haven't been built out yet. And that's why it's really important to understand why Coinbase Ventures and also Binance is paying attention to the development of runes because it's very, very new. So the fact that runes are built directly on Bitcoin and not like BRC20 tokens, which are built on ordinals, which that is also built on Bitcoin, this has a direct line to Bitcoin's market liquidity. So once the tools are built right here in between, for the Bitcoin market liquidity to fall into DOG, then you could expect that right now, the percentage of DOG will be above 0.02% because that's what DOG's market cap makes up in terms of Bitcoin's liquidity pool. Now, look at Shiba Inu, it's 2.5% of Ethereum. Look at Dog with Hat, 2.24% of Solana. And you can see that right now, the market cap of both of those chains are very low. So what would happen if the Dog Rune token were to say make up 1% of Bitcoin's market liquidity. Well, it will be above $5 billion. So that's why I'm sharing with you. It's really important to share with you what's going to happen when the tools are developed for Bitcoin's liquidity pool and market cap to fall into the Rune ecosystem, especially DOG. But I believe that the DOG Rune token will reach a billion dollars without a tier one centralized exchange listing. So that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. And that's why it's really important for you to understand why to be positioned very early on right now. So if you know how to buy DOG, if you know how to buy runes, then you are lucky enough to understand the data. You're also lucky enough to understand how to trade. Not many people know how to do this.
And if you are trying to figure out how to buy a dog rune token, I'm gonna post a link on the upper right hand side so you can best understand the tools, also a guide to buy the dog rune token by installing Xverse, depositing Bitcoin in your wallet so you can make these best trades right now as we speak to be ahead of the game, to be ahead of the market, to be ahead of everyone else, especially institutional investors. Be that person, be the shark when the market is in red. But also keep in mind, September is typically historically a red month. So it's best to be prepared. So with that said, if you enjoy the content on this channel, it means a lot that you smash that like button and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding dog going to the moon. Until then, see you guys girls next time.